So I have some friends that have been following me on Facebook um, basically for garden tips and I just wanted to put a little video out. Um, I thought it would be quicker to just tell you than it is to type it out. Um, but why I'm gardening the way I am this year. So I had put in a garden the last four out of five years, this year included. Um, I gave up a couple of years ago because I was just doing so awful at it. Um, every, every single time it would just go to weeds and I would lose all of my hard work to weeds and pests um, because I have been wanting to garden organically. I don't want to use any pesticides or herbicides. Um, I'm trying to do this as organically as possible. Um, to use those types of interventions is like defeating the purpose as to why I want to garden. Um, so this year, um, well, over the winter, my dad, he helps me out a lot and he always has like the last few years. He always ends up pitching in and helping me. Um, but he was mad about something and he, he walked into the dining room one day, like in the dead of winter, you know, and was just like, I am not helping you anymore. If you want to do a garden, you are on your own. And I was just like, okay. So I had to get my act together. Either I'm gonna do this and do it right, or I'm not gonna waste mine and everybody's time and resources, you know? So I spent the next few months, literally, um, watching accomplished gardeners on YouTube and reading all their blogs and asking lots of questions. Um, how do you do it? How do you do it well? What am I doing wrong? All of these things, you know? Um, because I was getting to the point where, well, I'm just not working hard enough. Um, you need to be on your hands and knees pulling weeds 24 seven or else you're just not gonna have a successful garden. And that was not the case. I'm like, something's got to give. Uh, God did not intend for that to be the way. Um, although I do believe that he does want us to work hard and there are advantages to that. I don't think that if if he had initially designed us to live off of the land um, where it was like basically self-maintained, a garden should not be that hard. And I have found that to be closer to the truth this year. Um, and so I started following like Roots and Refuge Farm, um, MI Gardener, as in Michigan Gardener, MI Gardener, and Charles Dowding are like, um, and living traditions. Those are probably the top four that I really get a lot of my information from. And so a lot of them use raised bed gardens. Uh, if I was going to wait around for a raised bed garden, it would never happen. So I decided, I kind of um, meshed a few ideas together. Charles Dowding um, just has like a, a grid basically laid out and he has big rows just in the ground but because he uses like a back to Eden method they over time have been kind of raised from like his walk paths and so I decided to just start like that and so we hauled in some topsoil uh, with the bobcat and just made some raised wallless beds um, and I have been implementing a back to Eden style of gardening where I, I cover everything with wood chips. You can see down here. Um, as a means of keeping the soil supple. I like that word. <laughs> and I have a, a bee feels I'm invading its territory, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Betty. Um, so anyway, the, the wood chips serve, um, to help keep weeding down 
and also to hold, retain moisture in, so I really don't have to water as often. I find that I water, well, I mean, we've had lots of rain lately, so it, it has been really infrequent, but I would say typically like once a day, whereas last year I was watering twice a day every day. Now it's like once a day, like every day, every other day. So like less than half the amount of water um, I've, I'm having to put on the garden myself. Um, and the weeding, like it's still a thing, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Man, but it is so much better, so much better. This, this really has cut down a lot. And the, okay, so the wood chips, do wood chips. Like I got a hold of a local tree trimmer and he brought me out a whole dump truck load. And I have mm -hmm. covered both of my rows with it. Um, and I, he would be happy to bring me another load and I could cover in my walkways too. Right now I'm just mowing them. And I was on vacation last week and it got like way out of hand. Um, and so like over there where the corn and amaranth are, it's, it's a freaking jungle over there. And my mower died and I can't get it to start. So when I show you the tour, <laughs> don't judge me or judge me, I don't care. So anyway, I, I have found that using this method of gardening, and I highly recommend if, if you all are interested in this and you want to grow organically like the way that God intended, check out, there is on YouTube a movie full length, like over an hour long, it might even be two hours long. Um, it's called Back to Eden Gardening, as in the Garden of Eden. Um, dude's name is Paul something rather and he shows you what he did and how he was able to grow without a functioning well. Uh, a well that he could use on his garden. He could use it for his home, but not his garden. And it makes so much sense. And I'm telling you what, like after having four failed garden attempts, this is really encouraging. So next year I feel strong enough that I'll be able to grow more food to actually like put up for winter. I think I'll be putting up tomatoes this year, maybe, but I don't think I'll be, I don't think I'll have enough beans or anything to like save throughout the year. I don't know, next year, I think I have a new goal and I feel confident enough to be able to do it. So um, I'll give you a little view. So this, I've got a trellis and my plants, I've got a row on this side of the trellis and a row on that side of the trellis. And then the soil itself is covered in wood chips. Um, the only uh, problem I have had with the wood chips has been chiggers. And that is an awful problem. Um, I also found a solution to that. And I believe it's also a solution for a problem that I was having with my plants. Uh, powdered sulfur. I think I got a four pound bag of it on Amazon for like $13, I think. And it has been enough, I, I'm probably gonna need another bag in about a week or so, but you just powder, it comes with, the, you can buy a little poofer. Uh, I got a poofer in my diatomaceous earth bag um, and I just poof the powdered sulfur all over the, the wood chips and it takes care of the jiggers, which I'm sitting in it, I'm not afraid. Uh, but that was awful <laughs> before I got it under control. That was awful. That was miserable. Um, powdered sulfur. It is also helping to amend the pH of the soil. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe the, the pH was, was an environment that is good for chiggers, which is poor for plants. And so when you bring it up to what the plant needs, it's bad for the chiggers and the chiggers go away and your plants benefit. I don't know, I haven't looked that far into it, but it's a thought that I had. I find that everything in this garden and in life itself, um, everything is supposed to benefit everything around it. And that might be one of those things. So I'm gonna end this video. 
and start on the actual tour of the garden.